Today we're going to be talking about default passwords and devices that don't even have a password itself. But first, my name is T Smith, this is TQA Weekly, and let's talk about bad default password habits. Whether your device has the default passwords like admin, admin, or of course, doesn't even have a password like possibly your computer, it is a good thing to know that all of these different things are bad habits. Technology has brought about bad habits in everybody who continue to maintain these bad habits, despite the apparent fact that it is quite dangerous. So we're going to be talking about the various things that are bad about this and what you should actually be doing. So for small portable devices using a weak password or no password at all, you know, like a cell phone, a tablet or any other similar device, you should really be using a strong password on these. You would think that because you have it on you all the time that it's not really a risk. However, once you lose the device, even if it was simpler for you to log into your phone because it was unlocked to begin with, the next person has access to everything in your phone anyway. So that makes it incredibly hard for you to not get your identity stolen or having people go through your emails and accessing everything that you have ever texted anybody at all. So in those cases, you should really have a strong password. Not having a password at all is a really bad idea. Your computer and laptop though, the laptop following the same idea as a portable device should also have a strong password. I know, I know your windows machine at home doesn't seem to have an issue with not having a password. I'll get to that specifically, but computers, especially portable ones should also have strong passwords just in case they are lost or stolen for the same reasons you want passwords on your mobile phones and tablets because anybody can go through all the files. And in the cases of operating systems, we can go a step further where even if the person doesn't take the device, maybe they compromise your laptop in a way where they can spy on you or take all the information as they will infect it with other stuff while your back is turned. And in the case of a computer, computers definitely should have passwords on them. And there are a few reasons why. One, a password by itself, especially a strong password, is enough to prevent some malware from even being able to completely take over a hard drive, especially if you're not running in an admin account. If you're not running in an admin account and your admin account has a strong password, there's very little malware can do your computer. But even if you are not using an admin account and you are in your own account that doesn't have admin privileges, if the admin account doesn't even have a password, malware doesn't need to do anything close to priv privilege escalation attacks. It just needs to log in and infect the computer, which can kind of screw you. And on top of that, having a strong password, especially with computers that are somehow connected to network devices is a good idea, especially if your computer is the only computer that can connect to routers or NAS drives or any kind of devices like that. It is important to have the password to prevent malware from being able to access this, which brings us to the next thing. Routers, network drives, internet of things devices like those cameras you can connect onto your network and of course some of those portable toys and gadgets that you can buy that connect to the internet they often have default passwords and usernames themselves and they are usually in a list of pre-programmed usernames and passwords that malware will use to unlock devices once they have detected these devices are in a network. So the only way to prevent malware from modifying and using and abusing these devices is literally to just change the default password or to put a password in the first place. And on top of that, a great idea would to be <clears throat> a great idea would be to change the username too, if at all possible. The very fact of changing the default username and password just makes everything safer to begin with, especially on all of these other devices and on your computer, having a strong password can prevent a lot of shit from happening. Now talking about wireless routers, because we know that you can get infected in your wireless router or your router can be infected if you're not careful. If a hacker is physically close enough to a insecure to an insecure router 
and it has a default username and password. And I noticed this at one of my jobs, but the router itself is basically a honeypot and it's not connected to anything. The person basically took the time to connect to said router and to point out to me that, oh, the username and password are the same and they're the default which by the way, I'm not the one who installed that. And I kind of find it silly that they even have it there. But the thing is, is it points out a very, very scary vulnerability. There's a lot of people that know that default password and username on routers is admin and admin. In fact, that's what the password was for some of the equipment for Equifax. So why would you leave it that way? If your router is unlocked, and you want it unlocked so that other people can use it, fine, big deal. The, the idea of changing the username and password to the router is still a good idea because it can prevent people from changing many of the settings and basically ending up pointing people to a different DNS server, allowing a lot of the people to get hacked in a different way. Also, even if you want it to be open to everybody, you should at least have the SSID indicate what the password is at worst, because encrypting the traffic also prevents people from snooping on the traffic itself. If you have an unlocked router with default usernames and passwords, people can snoop on all the traffic. And even if the traffic is coming from secure websites, they can pretty much figure out where the message is going to or coming from at that point. So it is a good idea, regardless of what you're doing, to not use the default username and password of your devices and in cases of cell phones and tablets and laptops and computers, at least use a strong password to protect yourself so that nobody ever gains access to your life and the equipment connected to this at the same time. Now, if you like this episode, like it, dislike it if you didn't, share with those that you think can benefit from this, and don't forget to subscribe. And if you had questions, comments, suggestions for topics, email me at ask at tqaweekly.com or go to my website, tqaweekly.com for everything else. And if you want to make this show better, go to patreon.com slash tqaweekly and become a patron today. Patrons get these episodes 24 to 48 hours in advance of everyone else. Thank you for watching and goodbye.